Hey everyone, Pete here from KnifeUp.com and today I have something a little bit different than I normally do and it's a review on something really exotic and funky looking. You'll want to stay tuned to see this one. All right guys, today what I have is a review on a really, really neat sword that just came to me from a company called Swords of Northshire. It's just kind of an unboxing. It's not a full review today, and I just want to kind of show you what's, what's going on here. This just came to me from China, and uh, it's not typically what you would expect from China. This is no uh, piece of substandard quality engineering that you might expect from some products coming out of China, if you know what I mean. Uh, this is a sword that is uh, manufactured under the name of Swords of Northshire, and they do have a name to uphold. They, they've got it, they're a brand, and they're, they're, uh, they do have quality standards that have to be upheld, and so where this came from doesn't really matter as far as I'm concerned. What I care about is the quality of the actual item. So, let's see what we have here. I have taken the liberty, I just kinda, I, I, I was gonna do this live on camera, but I thought, you know what, this is gonna be a mess. I have taken the liberty to slice this package open already. I haven't taken it all apart, but I've, I've sliced it open. Very unique packaging. This is, uh, it's just com compressed styrofoam. It's not even that compressed, but it's styrofoam, and it's wrapped like crazy uh, with packing tape, and, it's just really efficient. You don't really need you don't really need anything else. You're not paying for anything else. So just uh, you know, this is a minimalist packaging, but extremely well protected. So I thought that was ingenious. It was kind of hard to get into. I started hacking into it with a knife, and uh, realizing, uh oh, I don't want to wreck something inside. And I didn't. It was no big deal. But anyway, so let's see what we've got here. So I know what it is, but I haven't really gone through it in any detail. And so it's pl uh, plastic covering a sword bag. So it's just this one. It's black, doesn't smell like much. Um, simple wrap. I'm probably not gonna do much with this bag personally. It's a good overall protector, I guess, from the elements maybe. Um, okay, so when I ordered this, this had a lot of different options. If you go to Swords of Northshire and uh, see what, what sorts of options you have, you're gonna spend, oh, you could spend hours, you could spend a few minutes depending on uh, how well versed you are in options for various swords or katanas. And um, uh, it took me probably 45 minutes to choose all the details because they were so overwhelming, which is kind of a good thing. So this is, um, it's a katana, it's, it's let's see, what, uh, what did I order? I ordered, I believe it was a 28 inch long blade and an 11 inch handle. So, like I said, I'm not gonna get into details of a performance review of this today. Uh, that'll happen later, but I just wanna kinda give you an overall view of this. Attached to the handle, I'll take that off in a second, but just so you can see right there, that's not even in focus, is it? It's focusing on me. Okay, well anyway, uh, there is, there are little uh, wooden dowels. They're called makugi, and what they are is they're actually um, pegs that go through the handle from one side to the other. I'm, I'm pinching right now one of them that's installed, and uh, the point is to hold the blade to the handle. All right, so they give you some extras here, which is good. I, I hope I never need them. Not sure why I, I would want them necessarily or, or hope to not have to use them, but they're there, right? All right, so one of the other things that came in the package in this little tube um, is a little rolled up piece of paper, which I, it was hard to get out actually at first. and I wasn't sure what it was, but I discovered upon opening it's a certificate. Um, a lot of swords do come with such things. Most of them come in envelopes. 
Yeah, so this was kind of neat. It just shows just some information to uh, like the, the the date that it was made and the length and that sort of thing, uh, and and the, the steel that it's made from. Just kind of helps you keep your your collection in order. I don't have a big collection, um, so I don't have a lot of. Uh, a lot of things to keep in order. But anyway, it's kind of a neat thing. It makes it look kind of old. It's kind of parchmenty. So it's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do next right here is to just take it to the next step and just take it out of the saya, which is the um, sheath itself, the scabbard. So uh, I have not done this yet. So here we go. See how hard it is. Well, that wasn't too bad. That's good. Comes off nicely. And let's see what's what's going on inside. Okay, so the let's put that down. <clears throat> um, okay, so the uh, the the blade itself is covered with a very oily piece of plastic. So I'll just ugh, take that off. Gently put that down. And so my first impression here is that it's. It looks very nice, for one thing, and it feels very balanced. It's not front heavy, doesn't, doesn't feel a little bit awkward if I had to, you know, fight with it if I was a samurai. Uh, it, it feels like it should feel as far as I'm concerned. I haven't touched every wonderful katana ever made, so I can't do a really, really accurate comparison as to how it feels, but it does, overall, it does feel very nice. And so what I'm going to do, guys, at this point, instead of uh, talking to you, standing here and holding this and talking about it in a threatening kind of manner, um, I'm, I'm going to just um, turn the camera off and we're going to re reposition so that we can see some of the details up close. And I'll, uh, I'll talk about some of the options and the details that we have here. By the way, the, the handle itself is covered with plastic at this point, shrink wrapped, which is great for protection, but I'll take that off before we do the, uh, the detailed uh, review. What I'm going to do is later on I'll do a cutting test and a little bit more of a performance test. Uh, I probably won't go crazy and destroy the blade like some, some reviewers do. I kind of like this. This is very nice. This is gonna this is gonna add to my very small collection. I've got a, a much bigger collection of knives, and uh, you know, pocket knives, EDCs, hunting knives, that sort of thing. But um, I don't have a huge collection of swords, so I'm, I'm I want to keep this one nice because it's kind of cool, and um, I don't want to hack the tar out of it. So I will um, I'll go through a bunch of the details on uh, the, or the, the items that I ordered as options, which are very extensive. So it's, it's kind of a really cool feature of ordering this from Swords of Northshire. You can, you can <laughs> I just thought I would order it and there's you know A, B, C, or D. Not at all. There's literally hundreds, probably thousands of combinations you can choose. On, on this uh, on this sword, it's just it's a fun process, and it took me some time, and I enjoyed it. So uh, anyway, just before we go into the details, the close-up detail review, uh, what I would like to do is just thank uh, Bryce at Swords of Northshire for uh, giving me this sword uh, to do this test. Uh, full disclosure, I did not pay for this. Um, in this particular case, I, I I was kind of expecting to do that, and. Um, uh, or at least a portion of it, but uh, he was kind enough to give it to me. Uh, that doesn't mean that I'm going to be a wuss and say, oh, this is the best thing on earth. I just love this. You got to order. Uh, I, I kind of do an honest review and we'll see how the performance review works out and we'll see what it can cut, how it can cut, how sharp it is out of the, uh, from the factory and that sort of thing. So I will be honest. Um, so anyway, that's kind of my uh, my first impression at this. Oh yes, sorry, didn't tell you. The price on this, and when you go to Swords of Northshire, you don't necessarily see a price right away, although you can, depending on uh, where you go on their site. But one of the things I found out is that depending on factors such as the steel composition itself, as well as how it's made, is it folded, for example, you know, and, and then of course the composition of the steel and the different options that you choose, the price can vary hugely. Like this particular sword, it, it, it can look, a, a katana like this can, can look identical one to another, and one can be uh, just over 100 bucks, like 130-ish, 
to over $1,000. So uh, I believe that this one with the 1095 carbon steel is on the lower end of that price range, but that's still a decent chunk of money. Uh, it's not a piece of junk, that's for sure, I can tell. And so I appreciate uh, Swords of Northshire and um, you know, your help in helping me make this video. So anyways, let's see what else it's got. All right guys, so here is the katana. Just have it on the floor here in my little office studio. Um, by the way, just for those of you who might not know, but a lot of the parts, pretty much all the parts on a katana and other um, uh, Japanese swords and, and such, they all have the Japanese names for things like, you know, the handguard is, is not a handguard, it's a tsuba. Uh, and I'm probably going to butcher some of these names. I'm not fluent in the language, but uh, I will do my best. So just to kind of give you an overview here, um, I mentioned the Tsuba. That's that's this handguard right here. It, it, uh, that was one of my options, and it has a, a tiger, a uh, very tigery theme to it. As well do the Fuchi and Kashira, which are the end caps. So there's one. Also has a a very a tiger theme and the other the other one is there right there so it's the end caps meaning the end of the handle there's one end and there's the other and uh, so that's what the fuji and kashira i believe are there is a manuki which is that right there it's an ornament inside the handle there's one on the other side right there uh, so that's another option. So uh, it was kind of fun with uh, making all these choices. Um, this right here, the scabbard is called the Saya, spelled S-A-Y-A. And uh, again, another option. I chose a very plain wood design. I just wanted that to kind of go with where I plan on displaying it. So that's what it was. But there's all kinds of options, different colors and such. and. Uh, and then there's the Segeo, which is the scabbard wrap, which is that right there. And I, as you can see, I did a real color coordination. Totally not necessary to do that, but it just was something that I wanted. Uh, the Ito, or the Ito, is the handle wrap right there. So it is, it's, it's this material right here. It's woven pretty tightly. I can't, I can't move it at all. Oh, nah, hardly. There, you can actually see it. Yeah, you can't really see it, can you? <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. It's very, very tight, and that's you know done on purpose, as it should be. And of course, that matches that wrap, the, the Segeo. Um, the Bohai, this is kind of a gruesome thing. Right here, it's the groove on the blade. And that's another option. You can choose the, the length of it and the style of it, and uh, Another word for bohai, ready for it? It's a blood groove. And it literally is. Um, you know, in the brutal days of the use of these swords and, and other swords, uh, that, that was, it was very functional. And it actually did allow blood to drain more efficiently from the body. I know it's gruesome, but it's just a fact of history. And so that's kind of why we, we even mention it today. Um, I didn't mention these little <laughs> dowels down here. I mentioned them earlier in the video. They're sitting here because they are the, uh, the extra um, makugi that were, were included in the package. And what they are, they're actually bamboo. It's kind of important that they are. They're not, not good if it's hardwood or softwood. Um, and they are right here. See, there's the end of one and there's another one. And if they come out, that's a really bad thing because that means your blade is not attached to your handle very well. So uh, it's nice to have extras just in case. That's kind of an important feature right there. The other thing is something called the Hammon. And it's, it's this design you can see right here along the blade. See that irregular shape there design that looks like somebody sharpened it. And that's a result of sharpening, and I think that's kind of the idea. It goes right down the length of the blade, and it's the same on both sides. You can make those different designs in part of your options when you order the sword. 
So again, just another fun option to continue. Uh, you can make that an event. <laughs> that was an event in our family when we ordered the options for this katana. Uh, you can also order, they'll ask you for the color of the under wrap here. So I chose black there to contrast with the lighter color on the outside. And then another, uh, another option, one of your last options, I guess, is the hibaki and the seppa. The hibaki is actually this thing. You can see it right here, this circular sort of oval thing. And it actually looks kind of like an oval washer, but you can't tell the hole in it is the blade. So that's covered up. So it just looks like a piece of oval metal. And then the seppa is the collar. This piece right here. So, uh, and that's next to the first thing I started out with, which is the tsuba, which is the handguard. So those are some of the options you'll be asked uh, in addition to all kinds of other ones I didn't even mention here, like, do you want any extra engraving? I chose not to have any engraving in the, uh, on the length of the blade, but you could. And then there are all kinds of options too with different, um, this, uh, the holders for this, like display stands and uh, other en en engraving and other options on the, uh, the, the Saya. So it, the, the options go on and on. I was, I was almost overwhelmed, but it was kind of a good thing overall and it was a fun experience for the whole family. All right guys, so that's just my quick little intro video unboxing and just uh, showing you some of the options and details on the Katana. I would love to have some of your feedback because I know that there are people watching you right there uh, who know more about swords than I do. I know a little bit about knives and I know a lot about outdoors in general. That's kind of what Knife Up is all about. But there are some of you that are just specifically in to swords, katanas, you know, from different, different long weapons from around the world. I would love to have your feedback. Tell me, like, is a katana, is it, is it a good, so I mean, I know it's, it's a good sword, but compared to something like a broadsword um, or, or a scimitar or something like that, like, I don't know, I don't even know all the names and all the terminology, uh, and some of you do. Uh, like, some of you watching this, are YouTubers yourself who probably who do reviews on on swords? I know because I've seen you. So uh, any of your feedback is is valuable to me. I would like to know advantages and disadvantages. I mean, I can do a Google search, but I'd like to know what you guys think. Advantages, disadvantages to a katana compared to other uh, swords of of that general style at that general time frame around the world. I'm especially interested in European weapons compared to those of the Far East and their advantages and their disadvantages. Obviously a broadsword is is something you can you know swing and smash with and I uh, I do know that a katana is is effective principally because of its ability to cut rather than hack or or hit uh, and that's kind of one of the keys to using it properly. And we'll, we'll get into that in my performance review, but I would love to know your thoughts. Is it a good sword? Is it a bad sword compared to what? Compared to Middle Eastern weapons, compared to uh, European weapons? Uh, give me your thoughts. And uh, if you found any value in a video like this, entertainment or information wise, don't forget, subscribe. Love to see your comments and uh, love to make sure that you do not miss any more of the videos that we've got coming out on a weekly-ish basis. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Take care, guys.